Part 1. The Unexpected Side Effect of Modern Life We live in a world dominated by technology. Our smartphones in particular have become extensions of ourselves. We use them for everything from communication and work to entertainment and shopping. But what if this constant connectivity comes at a cost? What if our phones, those sleek devices we cherish, are silently impacting our health in ways we never imagined? Recent studies have begun to uncover a disturbing trend. Prolonged mobile phone use may be linked to a range of health issues. While we often focus on the mental and emotional effects of excessive screen time, new research suggests that our physical health, particularly our sexual health, could also be at risk. This revelation raises important questions about our relationship with technology and the potential long-term consequences of our digital habits. The pervasiveness of mobile phones in our society makes these findings particularly concerning. As we delve deeper into the research, we must consider the potential implications for individuals and public health. Are we on the cusp of a new health crisis fueled by our digital dependence? And what steps can we take to mitigate the risks? Part 2. A shocking link. Mobile phone use and erectile dysfunction. A recent study published in a prominent medical journal has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. Researchers found a statistically significant correlation between prolonged mobile phone use and an increased risk of erectile dysfunction ED, in men. ED, a condition characterized by the inability to achieve or maintain an erection sufficient for sexual intercourse, affects millions of men worldwide. The study, conducted by a team of urologists and epidemiologists, involved a large sample size of men across various age groups and backgrounds. Participants were asked to report their daily mobile phone usage habits, including the average time spent using their phones and the specific activities they engaged in. The researchers then analyzed this data in conjunction with the participants' self-reported erectile function. The findings were striking. Men who reported higher levels of daily mobile phone use were significantly more likely to experience symptoms of ED. This association held true even after controlling for other potential contributing factors, such as age, smoking status, and underlying health conditions. The study's authors concluded that prolonged mobile phone use may be an independent risk factor for ED. Part 3. Unraveling the study's methodology and findings. The study employed a cross-sectional design, meaning that data was collected from participants at a single point in time. This approach allows researchers to identify potential associations between variables, but it cannot establish a cause and effect relationship. To determine whether mobile phone use directly causes ED, further research using more robust study designs, such as longitudinal studies that track participants over extended periods, is necessary. Despite this limitation, the study's findings are significant. The researchers employed rigorous statistical methods to analyze the data and control for potential confounding factors. They also excluded participants with pre-existing conditions known to contribute to ED, strengthening the validity of their findings. The study's large sample size further enhances the generalizability of the results. The study's authors propose several mechanisms by which mobile phone use might contribute to ED. One possibility is that the radio frequency electromagnetic fields, RF EMFs, emitted by mobile phones could have a detrimental effect on testicular function and sperm quality. Another theory is that excessive mobile phone use, particularly in bed, can disrupt sleep patterns and lead to fatigue, which can in turn affect sexual performance. Part 4 beyond the data limitations and future research directions. While the study provides compelling evidence linking mobile phone use to ED risk, it is crucial to acknowledge its limitations. As mentioned earlier, the cross-sectional design precludes definitive conclusions about causality. Future research should explore this association using longitudinal studies to track changes in erectile function over time in relation to mobile phone usage patterns. Additionally, the study relied on self-reported data, which is inherently subjective and prone to recall bias. Participants may have underreported or overreported their mobile phone use or ED symptoms, potentially influencing the study's findings. Future studies could incorporate objective measures of mobile phone use, such as tracking app data, to enhance the accuracy of exposure assessment. 
Further research is also needed to elucidate the underlying biological mechanisms by which mobile phone use might affect erectile function. Investigating the potential impact of RF EMFs on testicular health and exploring the role of sleep disruption and stress in this context are promising avenues for future investigation. Additionally, studies examining the combined effects of mobile phone use with other lifestyle factors such as diet and exercise on sexual health would provide a more comprehensive understanding of this complex issue.